All right, this is Calibos, and we are playing Planescape Torment, and I am kind of confused as to what I'm supposed to be doing. So maybe I, maybe I can unclick one of the panels or something. Maybe I have to have like specific panels clicked. Uh, Continue, examine, push the panel. Okay. Turn away. Continue, continue. Wait, what did that say? Fear names. Names have power and identity. Others can use names as weapon. Names are a hook that can be used to track you across the plains. Remain nameless and you shall be safe. I am the nameless one. Okay. Oh, weird. Updated my journal. I feel stronger. Sweet, we will level up again. Uh, we'll put in intelligence. We'll make him smart. Uh, let's get out of here. Go visit Lothar. I've been through a shredder. I'm gone. I'm gone. Make sure that we've seen everything. I don't know what that is. I think we looted that one. See if we can get down to see if there's a door or something. Wait. What did I get? Tomb key four. Portal key. So is there another portal somewhere? Ooh, skeleton. So, only one of the keys said anything. This will put me by the entrance again. Vaguely familiar, as you hold it, you suddenly know its purpose. It's supposed to allow you to teleport to one of the inner chambers, but only if you use it in the entrance corridor. Once inside the chamber, it's useless. Do we need to use the key? I'm gone. So let's let's put the bandages here and grab the uh, the book. Hmm. 
Okay, so I I don't know. Like there's another body in the freezer. Antler axe. Yep. Alright. Uh I don't know what I'm doing. Let's just get out of here. Save versus spell. So that kills me. There's no other thing. I have no idea how to trigger the teleports that were going around. So... I mean, we've been to each of these rooms now. Check the bodies again, because there's two here. Oh. Okay, so let's get our limb limb out of the corpse. Um, it's not a weapon. dagger pipe uh, thieves oh no done silver bracelet seems cooler than the brawn that's one Nothing useful. I think I looted this dude already. Cranium rat tails. Okay, I have no idea. Let's just get out of here. But it will end like this. Oh, it, it's locked. Um, crud. So, there's got to be another place to go. Like, how do I get there? So that kills me. don't see any other passages or anything. Okay, I'm going to pause it and then see if there's a thing that I should be doing because I am trapped and I'm just like wandering around dying.
which is funny. Ah, ah. Okay, so I guess I don't need to go look anything up. Uh, bloody teardrop, battle axe, corpse fly charm, not charm, scroll of axe of torment. I don't know that I should be giving paper things to a, a dude who's on fire all the time, but there you go. I'm gone. Okay, let's go get the rest of the stuff. Um, I think that we just need to walk through and down. Because we walked in here and then it teleported us. Yeah. Into all of the things. Let's see if there's any like writing or I don't know. I'm gone. Let's get out of here. It was weird and unfortunate. wait for everything to catch up. There's a lot of hurry up and wait in this game. I mean, obviously just the traveling. And I bet the, the Vargoyles are back, so we'll probably just have to kill them again. Make sure we're going the right way. All right. Hopefully this dude's not angry about uh, 
built. What's that? He's killing all of his servants. Wonder if we just like went completely the wrong way. Kind of looks like uh, there's no. Nothing to do there, though. Lothar. There's no skull in the, the casket, Lothar. So well defended from scrying magic, it was a challenge even for me. There must be some explanation for this, and you will provide it for me. There is some merit to what you say, but something about that crypt that spoke of much promise. I will think on this, and I encourage you to do the same. Updated my journal. Uh, a dustman, missionary, and a spy. That won't be satisfactory. Updated my journal. Stripped from you by magical means. The night, the night hag ravel by the night hag ravel puzzle well. Ravel Puzzlewell is an enigma, even among the night hags. Some would call her Barmy. Others say she plays a deeper game than any can see through. She's evil through and through, making the fiends you'll see in the area seem positively defying you. When compared to her, she's out of the reach of men now, thanks to the powers. She was mazed by the Lady of Pain. Mazed? How do I find her? Mazes are like a pocket dimension, small places between places. To reach one, you need to find a portal and a key. I do not know where the door or the key are. Perhaps you should seek some of your old acquaintances. Certainly left a trail of them behind. They will find you, no doubt. Pray they mean you well. Perhaps you should visit the Civic Fest Hall. They have many answers there. Updated my journal. Um, Maker of toys and puzzles to solve her problems that didn't need solving, she decided that Sigil the Cage was the largest puzzle box of all and set herself to undo it, to let in the armies and fiends at her disposal, no doubt, to upset the balance of the city and turn the entire burg into a charnel house. Pray to any power you hold dear with thanks that she did not succeed. You know, I've learned some new tricks. Oh, fancy. So, I seem to recall that basically what this means is when we roll, we need to roll under this amount, like on a percentage die, to succeed. So, with 65, we have a 65% chance of succeeding, and a 35% chance of failure. Done. Do we have anything... Let's get out of here before we tick off the angry mage. Oh, it's Morty. What's up? Yeah, huh? Okay. All right. Can we talk to him? How do we talk to him? Dialogue with you. 
Hey, what's eating you, Chief? Where'd you die? What happened to your body? Uh, what do you know about the Night Hag Lavelle? Well, she's a night hag, and she was definitely barmy enough to make you immortal of all people. I mean, she could have chosen me. What roles was I? Still anyone addled enough to lock blades with the Lady of Pain isn't someone we really want to find. I had some other questions. What's tattooed on my back again? Uh, I think I need to refresh my memory. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Keep going. My journal. What about Don't Trust the Skull? Oh, that bit at the end. Well, I figured it was washed, so I didn't read that line out loud. If it refers to you, I'm doubt I mean you can trust me, right? Are you lying to me, Mort? No, come on, man. What's your what's your problem, Chief? I haven't steered you wrong yet. Yet. I don't like the fact that you didn't read me that line. And I'd like to know what else you've neglected to mention since we've been traveling together. Nothing. I've told you everything. Well, almost everything, but nothing, you know, dangerous. If there's anything else, I suggest you tell me now. Chief, seriously, there's nothing else. I wouldn't hold out on you. Uh... Okay. Oh, so we can talk to them. Let's talk to Anna. What is it you wanted? Before I found a power on. Let's see, I had some other questions. When Farad went to return the tribute you took from my body, he vanished for a while then came back, but he never left Ilwyn Court. Do you know where he went? Oh, why? To hear tell, old Stutter Crutch has got a, a stash pit somewhere close to him. It's the only reason uh, that I can see where he's got that kit set up in that filthy drafty hall. Uh, I'm warning against such a thing I am. Farad can be daft sometimes, but he's mean as a fiend spit. Didn't want to walk that far. So that crutch of his could be a portal key? Aye, there's a thought. She shrugs. I wouldn't know how to use it, though. Maybe you need to just have it. Um, you daft, don't be mentioning her name. You've listed the Grey Ladies. She is filthy mean with more power to toss around than some powers. All brambles through and through, even her heart. It's that you can never kill her because her body's like a tree. Yeah, lop off one limb. There's always another still growing somewhere else across the plains. Of course she is. She has to be. How would you kill this thing such as her? That's why the lady had to maze her, so it said. Hmm, good to know. Okay, okay. So let's talk to Iggy yes. here. Uh, this way. This always was. This might you be sparks and bodies always seeking to rise. Sparks and bodies. All things burn inside. Ignis's head cranes back and he throws his arms wide spirals of flames and heat traveling up his arms. All we need to be kindled with flames to become Ignis. So might you have been Ignis. Actually, we might end up killing them. I had some other questions.
but I wish to speak of flames and burning. Your words are like oil, and you watch them fill Ignis' eyes, bending the flames around their flames. Uh... Yes. Uh, once Ignis knew nothing of flames, he set small fires, tiny flames, tiny flickerings. Small bits of flames. Ignis, this is again, ashes and fire boats drifting from the ruin of his mouth. Fires grew, set fires in their streets, lit the fires of anger in their hearts. Yes. They sought to punish Ignis, the small flies from the hive. They wished to see Ignis burn after Ignis set fire to their streets, tiny magelings. Hydra wizards as rune casters, tiny sparks of magic come to punish Ignis for hurting their loved ones. They sentence Ignis to burn, make Ignis a torch, a spitting flame, burning, burning. It's justice. Justice. You watch mesmerized as Ignis begins to turn slowly again as he did above the grill and the smoldering corpse. There's not a sentence. There is so much flames and pain that there is no pain. There's light and heat, and the flesh runs as tallow across my bones. And for the first time, Ignis is pleased. Stops his rotation, his gaze falls on you. As it does, the fire in his eyes flare, and a charred grin spits, splits his features. The flesh crackling and bubbling as it melts and streams across his face. Ignis wears the face of all hells of flames, and his next words are spoken like a death sentence, not only for you, but for everyone everywhere. And the plains burn, and all life is torches. And Ignis shall at last be at peace. Uh, other questions? Never mind then. All right, let's talk to you. What is your will? Things I would know. What is that? Uh, is a place where I died my first death. What is this place? Great homes of the people, suffered many wounds in this life. One of the scars is by that. By my hand, on the rolling plains of limbo, the people shape cities from chaos with their thoughts. Know that there is no place for a divided mind. Dacon raises the blade from his shoulders and holds it before him. As he stares at it, it sharpens until it's almost as thin as a piece of paper. A divided mind is an unfocused mind. A divided mind fractures walls and weakens stone. As Dacon speaks, the edges of the blade corrode slightly, the metal misting and melting along the edges. Many divided minds may destroy a city. I understand. Go on. Long have I known the words of Zerthamon. Through my voice, many have come to know the words of Zerthamon. The Zerth protect the community from all threats, whether to the body or the mind. Uh, they are the guiding stones in the chaos. So it came to pass that I spoke the words of Zerthamon without knowing the words of Zerthamon. It came to pass that I no longer knew myself. So you doubted the words? No. I knew the words. Yet it came into my heart that perhaps others did not know the words Zerthamon knew them, and so division formed. As my mind became as two, as my mind became divided, those that looked to me as a guiding stone became divided. Many scores of gifts arrived, many hundreds of scores of gifts arrived, doubted. Shrekvor died that day. The enemies of Zerthamon came, know that their hatred of his words and the people lent their blade strength. Know that they sensed the weakened city and they brought war with them. Many Githsari drowned in the chaos and beneath the blades of our enemies. Small, gith, small beads of metal appeared on the surface of the blades as if blistering. Know this happened long ago. What happened to you? Uh, as I fell from the walls of Shraklor, man, I don't know if I can keep trying to pronounce that. My blade was missed, my mind divided. I was adrift upon limbo seas, and I wished to drown. I died for days, my mind awash in division. Updated my journal. Uh, as you speak the words, you feel a strange, crawling sensation eat its way through the back of your skull, and your vision blurs. Take a deep breath and steady yourself. For some strange reason, you feel nauseous. As if the landscape had started spinning around you. I suffered. As I neared death, I came to know myself. I survived, that is all. Uh, uh, other questions instead...
Oh, I definitely want to be a wizard if I can. So it is definitely time to end this episode. We're at 30 minutes, which is a good long time. We've made significant amounts of progress as far as some of these things. Um, and we've made no progress in other things, like we still haven't found a stupid fork. So, which is kind of ironic, actually. Um, something that's happened to me in D&D &D in real life, like playing in D&D &D games. So yeah, I hope you liked this episode. If you did, leave me a like. If you didn't, don't. Questions, comments, concerns, they can all go below. And uh, have a great night.